Countdown just four days for West York School District students heading back to school, but one family searching for a school to call home caught in a boundary dispute with the school system. CBS 21's Michael Gorsinger live in West York to explain the border war and why the district says this is actually a matter of state statute. Interesting story here, Michael. Yeah, Joel D, in just a matter of steps and literally right through the middle of 1025 West Poplar Street sits the dividing line between York City School District and West York School District. In fact, Skyview 21 earlier flying high above this address as we highlight the line that shows the boundary going right through the middle of this row home. Now, this is a effort in which a father would like to see change for the safety of his children. With backpack in tow, six-year-old Olivia Fleming ready for school. But which school remains the question. I like this area so much. Like, this is where I spend literally, I'm a homebody. I spend most of my time between home and work. For the past five-plus years, Nathan Fleming calling this West Poplar Street rental home. With a West York postal address and a bus stop eight houses away, the assumption the kids would head over to West York area schools. But not so fast. It doesn't seem to be a sense of uh, urgency. Um, there's no compassion, there's no empathy. It's an unfortunate situation uh, for Mr. Fleming. Built in the early 1900s, the house designated as part of the York City School District. School taxes being paid to the city. But 120 years later, the closest school in this walking district, 1.5 miles away along some busy streets. It's frustrating, it's alarming. Um, I don't understand how somebody doesn't step in and say, you know, this here doesn't make any sense. Yeah, we're delighted that he wants to you know, send his send his kids here and we'd love to have them and we have means for him to do that. Despite the flattery, West York Superintendent Todd Davies saying the district's hands are tied. State statute laying out the rules. The only way to make this happen would include paying an out of district tuition or moving into the boundaries. It really is a matter of, of who's receiving the school taxes because that's what that's what funds the district. That's how we that's why we pay for everybody's education. There could be some sort of consideration, some sort of reassessment or an evaluation based on these circumstances. Now for right now, Nathan Fleming's two older daughters actually sitting right behind me here are gonna continue to go to York Academy. Meanwhile, Olivia, the one you saw in the story, she's going to go to Holy Trinity in the city of York. Now to make any type of change, uh, quite a process ahead that would have to make that happen, including going before the school and some committees, as well as the school board for a final decision. Live in York, Michael Gorsinger, CBS 21 News.